One of the biggest challenges our customers face when complying with IFRS 16 and ASC 842 is posting valuations under both requirements. SAP has multi-gap capabilities to allow you to simultaneously post valuations into their respective ledgers. My name is Sarah Thompson and I'm a Senior Solution Engineer with Bramasol and I'm here to show you exactly how SAP does that. SAP provides a work list of your lease contracts and where they stand within the valuation process. The system can handle parallel valuation according to multiple accounting principles. The CLM module will automatically calculate and post the valuation cash flows based off the valuation rule you have selected, either posting together or independently. This is important because as contract modification or changes happen, you'll be able to automatically rerun your valuations. You can also view your contract valuations in a report. This can be done as a group of contracts or one singular contract dependent of your needs. You can also view your valuations in any currency within SAP, whether that is local, transaction, or group currency. The contract valuation process is natively integrated into asset accounting to manage the right of use asset. This is important because the integration between the contract valuation and asset accounting includes the automatic asset creation from the valuation rule meaning there's no more reconciliation between fixed asset ledger and your leasing solution. It also includes the postings of FI asset accounting based off of the values in the contract valuation process for asset depreciation. This helps eliminate the need for spreadsheets and manual calculations done outside of the system. And that's valuations within CLM. Thank you for watching.